Average total cost is defined as the sum of all production costs divided by the quantity of output produced. That means it measures how much a firm has to spend on each unit of output it produces. The concept of average cost is extremely important to understand how firms set prices and how they compete with each other. If you're studying economics, chances are you'll have to calculate average total cost sooner than later. Fortunately, that's pretty simple. We can calculate average total cost by following three simple steps. First, we find the total quantity. Second, we calculate the total cost. And third, we divide the total cost by the total quantity. Let's start with step one, finding the total quantity. The quantity describes how much of a good or service a company produces and attempts to sell on the market. It is commonly represented by the capital letter Q. Please note that in some cases you may also see a lowercase q to represent quantity. This is usually done to emphasize the fact that the quantity is small. In many cases, the correct value for q will be provided as part of the problem you're trying to solve. If not, then you may have to obtain the quantity by carrying out profit maximization first. We'll look at how to do that in a different video. For now, we'll assume that the quantity is known. To give an example, let's look at an imaginary pizza restaurant. We'll call it average pizza. In a regular month, they sell about a thousand pizzas. That means the total quantity is equal to 1000 pizzas. No complicated calculations needed here. Okay, so let's move on to step two, calculating the total cost. Total cost is made up of two parts, fixed costs and variable costs. Fixed costs are constant, which means they are the same no matter what quantity of output is produced. By contrast, variable costs increase or decrease as the quantity changes. That means a higher output results in higher variable costs and vice versa. Now, with that being said, to calculate the total cost, all we need to do is add up all fixed costs and variable costs. In the case of average pizza, the owners have to pay two and a half thousand US dollars a month to rent their location. That's an example of a fixed cost because they have to pay that amount regardless of the number of pizzas they sell. Meanwhile, they also have to buy ingredients such as flour, water, cheese, and some other stuff to make their pizza. The costs of those ingredients are variable costs. Let's say they add up to exactly $2 per pizza. In that case, the variable cost of producing 1,000 pizzas is $2,000. Now, if we add these variable costs of $2,000 to the fixed cost of $2,500, we find that in this example, the total cost adds up to $4,500. All right, now on to the third and final step, dividing the total cost by the total quantity. We can calculate the average total cost by dividing the total cost by the total quantity. This step is necessary because we are looking for the average cost, that is, the total cost per unit. As mentioned earlier, this indicator is critical for companies when it comes to pricing decisions. If they sell their products at a price below their average total cost, they'll essentially lose money because their costs are higher than their revenue. To illustrate this, let's revisit our average pizza example again and calculate their average total cost. From steps 1 and 2, we know that the quantity is 1,000 pizzas and the total cost is 4,500 US dollars. If we plug these numbers into the formula, we find that the average total cost is $4.50. That means, at the current level of output, the average cost of producing one pizza is exactly $4.50. So, to make a profit, the owners of the restaurant need to set the price at a level above those $4.50. However, please note that the average total cost may vary as the level of output changes. This has to do with increasing or decreasing marginal costs, which we've covered in a previous video. So let's sum it up once again. Average total cost is defined as the sum of all production costs divided by the quantity of output produced. It describes the average cost per unit of output. To calculate it, we can follow a simple three-step process. First, we start by defining the quantity Q, which is the number of units produced. Second, we calculate the total cost by adding up all fixed and variable costs. And third, we divide the total cost by the total quantity. And that's how you calculate average total cost.